one, just one simple technique to be instantly more likable. Yeah, just one. Hello, I'm Fact of Future and welcome to the Vanguard of Light, where we help energy sensitive people take it to the next, next, next level. So we got a good one. Likeability, more likable, greater acceptance. Do you want to know the number one, the number one way? Is this the single technique to be instantly more likable? Instantly. And it kind of, it doesn't, the technique doesn't come from win friends and influence people, but it's based, it's because of what they talk about in there, of how like the biggest thing that I got from that book was that people don't think they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter. You could be like the hardened worst criminal. Doesn't think they're wrong. Majority, 99, 99.999% of people don't think they're wrong. Don't think they're doing something bad. Don't think they're being mean. Don't think that. Like that's, it's almost ingrained of like, they're not mean. They're not wrong. They're not bad. And you're going to, as soon as you kind of approach it of like, hey, you did something wrong, boom. Puts up a wall, puts up a conflict. So, the number one technique to do, and it is challenging, it can be hard, you know, but it can be so rewarding and create, like in this non-physical world, it can create almost like this bubble, almost this aura, to where people will just be inherently more likable to you. Just feel it more. And that number one technique is assuming positive intent. Just always assume positive intent no matter what goes wrong no matter what you're dealing with just assume the person had a positive intent like that was their focus and then maybe dark forces came in maybe you know they just got overwhelmed whatever it is just assume they have a positive intent right because that's first of all is going to help you get out of being upset with them or being upset and kind of building your own field of negativity right but really just assume they had a positive intent. Even that person that's driving slow on the freeway, right? Or driving slow in front of you and you're like, why are you driving so slow? Think they have a positive intent. What happens if they're just really not a good driver? And if they drove faster, they'd get in an accident. So trust me, them driving slow is way better than being bumper to bumper traffic because they crashed or because they killed somebody or because they got killed. You know, so just assume there's some positive intent. They're doing it for some positive reason. Whether it's to be safe for everybody, whether it's because they feel that's the way in which they're supposed to drive and they're just trying to like, you know, do what they're supposed to do. But this but but pulling away from like it's not like they pulled out in front of you at that specific time to get your goat, right? They didn't do that. They had a positive intent. And they might have had that positive intent and then there's a play of dark forces and they're like, hey, have the dark forces are trying to stick it to you, right? Let's have this person with a positive intent. We'll have them come out here at the wrong time in front of you, slow you down, you're in the middle of a meeting, right? To get you into a negative spin. See, that's their play. That's the dark forces play, right? So we don't want to give in to dark forces. You know, they're trying to get your goat and send you down a rabbit hole and the best thing to do is not you know assume positive intent and be like i don't know what it is but there's probably a positive intent there because like in win friends and influence people even the people that we would consider like the worst people don't think they're bad don't think they're wrong you know at some way they have a positive intent even like someone that's going to steal something they're not necessarily thinking like oh i'm going to steal this and i'm going to make their world life horrible and blah 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 they're probably thinking that like i'm broke i need to steal this one either to make myself feel better i might need to steal it to sell it to help someone else there's something in there where they're justifying of like hey i need to do this and they're not focusing on because i want to stick it to you you know that's not what they're doing they have some positive intent so just getting that of like and that's good but the thing the reason to do that right Besides yourself, besides giving you so much more peace in your life, right? And that people aren't your enemy. And just be like, 
oh, they have a positive intent. It doesn't mean you don't address things. It doesn't mean, you know, hey, look, this, this, this happened, how we resolve it. But you're not thinking they're trying to stick it to you. Because when you're thinking that and you're feeling that, you push that out and everybody feels like, oh, man, if I make a mistake, this guy's going to or this girl's going to think I'm sticking it to him. And the people don't like that. And they're going to be like, mm. but if they if you have this field of like, no matter what happens, they're going to at least try to look at me in a positive light. Because that's like the number one fears of people are being rejected. You know, not being accepted. So if you're putting out a bubble of like, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the benefit of doubt. You know, I'm going to look for that you had some positive intent. You know, I'm going to, and that's just out there. Besides your own inner peace, which that's going to be attractive of like, hey, that, that person's kind of just seems peaceful, right? Not rattled, not going to go off on me, right? And then you also have that thing of like, they can non-physically feel of like, you're going to have the positive intent. You're going to see that, hey, you're probably trying, you know, you're probably trying to do this, this, and this, you know, kind of landed like this over here. What can we do to work it out, right? And they're way more going to respond to like, oh, oh, it did. Oh, I, well, yeah, I wasn't trying to do that, right? And you're in their world versus like, you did this and stick it to me. Even if you don't say that, you're thinking that, you're feeling that, like you did that just to, you know, mess me over. You know, so that's the thing. Assume positive intent. Always assume positive intent, positive intent, positive intent. And that will create this field, not only a peace in your own self, you know, not to mention you'll start seeing things deeper of like, well, what was their positive intent? Because my printout, my 3D printout isn't showing positive intent, but in the 5D, there was one. And then you might start seeing, okay, what's interfering with me getting a good printout here in the 3D? And you start seeing what's interfering with that and you start addressing that stuff, then 3D starts becoming really magical and really printing out some awesome stuff. So, hopefully you like that. Click me a like if you do. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Also, want to let you know one super way of like kind of, once you've got that place of like, ooh, it happened, right? But you're like, oh no, positive intent is to start blessing. So I have a video, I'll link it here about that, of like when things go negative, how to bless it. And there's also gonna be a 10 day challenge, there'll be a link there, where we do 10 blessings for 10 days to really build that blessing muscle. So you really just get focused of, hey, I'm gonna bless others. Because blessing others is also pulled into like, oh, I'm gonna assume positive intent, then I'll bless them, right? And also, I'm gonna be a light, they're being a light, I'm gonna bless that. And we're gonna start clearing out this negativity, these dark forces, and just start raising it up. That's what we're here, Vanguard of Light. We're bringing light to the planet. So hopefully you like that. Until we talk again, have a blessed day or a blessed night.